As Christmas is fast approaching, I thought I'd make three Christmas gift projects using reclaimed scraps of wood. I decided to go with a kitchen theme this year, so hopefully it'll inspire you to make some gifts yourself. Check it out. First up, I've decided to make a chalkboard food or drinks menu to make things a bit more interesting for Christmas dinner and other special occasions. I rooted through my scrap wood and found this piece of hardwood and I also found an offcut of plywood. I think the hardwood's oak. I started up by neatening the ends of my oak and then I ran the edges through the table saw to neaten the sides up as well. As it was pretty square, there was no need to run it through the planer. There was a layer of finish on one edge, so I trimmed this off as well to reveal the bare wood, which looked really good. Next up, I found the centre of the wood just by drawing a diagonal line from one corner to the other, and then the opposite way. Then, I marked a straight line across, which gave me the line to raise my table saw blade up to. I set the blade to 5 degrees and then ran it through at roughly the middle. Then I adjusted the fence slightly and ran it through again. Making small adjustments to the fence after each pass until the groove was wide enough to take the piece of plywood. In order to make sure the groove was as central in the board as possible, I made sure to adjust the fence in one direction for a few cuts and then in the other direction. I was looking for a slightly loose fit so it was easy enough to take the plywood out to write on and then slot it back in nice and easy. Once I was happy with it, I tested the plywood and I definitely needed to trim it down a bit. I lined it up on my mitre saw and cut it down. That's better. After a quick sand of the plywood, I decided I wanted to add a bevel to my base piece. So I set the table saw blade to an angle I liked and ran the two top edges through. I was really happy with the way it turned out. Next up, I decided I also wanted a bevel at the top of the blackboard piece. So I found the middle and then measured out a distance by eye that I thought would look good and measured and marked it for both sides. Then I set up my mitre saw to 15 degrees and made the cut. But I wasn't happy with it, so I adjusted it to 30 degrees and was much happier. I repeated this on the other side and was really happy with the way it looked. The groove in the base piece was a bit scruffy from the table saw, so I tidied it up with a chisel and then gave everything a quick sand with the random orbital sander up to 120 grit. And then I ran over it with a sandpaper block to ease over the sharp edges on both the base piece and the backer piece. I finished the base with a hard wax oil. And then while that was drying, I painted the chalkboard paint on the backer piece. I've never used chalkboard paint before, but I really liked it and I'd like to do more projects with it in the future. I'll leave a link in the description for this one. The backer turned out great, as did the base. And here's the first project finished. Next up I wanted to make a charcuterie board, so I had this piece of hardwood. I think it might be mahogany that was used for a bath board. But since having kids we don't get the chance to have long relaxing baths anymore, so I thought I'd repurpose it. The first thing was to draw out my design. I used a bottle to mark a round top part of the handle and then drew straight lines off it. I could then join these lines at an angle to the sides and I just eyeballed it until I was happy with it. Then I trimmed off the end on the mitre saw and then took my jigsaw to it to cut the more tricky areas. Then I took it to the spindle sander and neatened up the rough edges, making sure to round over the top part. I've got these round profile templates from my router, so I decided to use these for the bottom edges of the board, using a template bit on my router. Once I'd done that, I took it back to the workbench and ran over it with my random orbit sander to round off the corners where the angled neck joins the main part, as I couldn't do this with my router. I drilled a hole in the top of my handle with a forstner bit, and then I rounded over all the edges on the top and bottom of the board with a round over bit in my router. Once I'd done this, I spent some time to sand everything thoroughly, including the edges up to about 220 grit. And then to finish, I added a simple food safe white mineral oil finish. This one turned out great too. 
I had some wood left over from making the charcuterie board so I decided to make a wine bottle holder with it. I marked out a rough width just using the wine bottle, then I measured it out properly, lined up my table saw and ripped it to width. Then I adjusted the mitre saw to 55 degrees according to my digital angle finder. The angle depends on the length of your board and I kind of just eyeballed it until it worked to be honest. I'll leave a link to this digital angle finder in the description. Then I cut the angle on one end, flipped the board over and cut the angle in the opposite direction on the other end. Then I marked out where I wanted my hole, found the centre and drilled it with a 35mm forstner bit. I really need some new forstner bits though and this took me about 5 minutes to drill the hole. Once drilled, I tested the bottle and it balanced great. So I sanded it up to 220 grit and then smothered it in white mineral oil again to finish it off. That's three easy Christmas gift ideas for the food and drink lover in your life. If you want to see more woodworking projects and ideas, tips and advice, please hit that subscribe button and you'll want to watch this video next. See you next time.